I hope that you guys can join me today as I discuss four vaccines that are given in the US. This is going to be a continuing series until I cover all of the vaccines that are given in the US. Tune in as Interpret Your World's co-founder, Juan Prieto, talks about the highlights of his workday as a professional medical video remote interpreter. If you are aspiring to learn something new and gain insight into what the world of medical interpretation is really like, then you've come to the right place. Follow along as Juan talks not only about his success, but the daily challenges he has to overcome to become a better interpreter each and every day. This is Unwind Sessions with Juan Prieto. So welcome back, nice Tuesday, October 12, 2021. And good morning, Alejandro. Great things are cooking. We just gotta be patient and not taste the soup uh, when it's boiling, right? You'll burn your mouth. So we gotta be patient for all those things to get to us, all right? And uh, by the way, that used to happen, uh, not a lot of, well, maybe no one knows here that I used to have a carnitas business. Um, that was well, at the beginning of last year. I still had that business. So, uh, well, at the end of last year, uh, that was still my business. And then uh, come January, I no longer had that business. So that used to happen to me a lot. Like I would just see the carnitas um, boiling. If you don't know what carnitas are, they're like pieces of um, pork leg, um, leg, pork leg pork leg well a leg of a pork I don't know uh, my uh, what's it called <laughs> I don't know my butcher uh, cuts and all of that stuff but it's the leg of the pig right a pork leg and then uh, it's cut into pieces no bone and then well it can have bone uh, depends on where it is in the recipe right so they just put it into like a, a, a really really big uh, pot and um, they boil it there in like boiling lard. So it's just like boiling in lard. And then it's, it's like, it creates like this really crispy, well, not crispy, but very like hard, um, uh, very fried texture on the outside and then soft and juicy on the inside. It's lovely. If you've never tried it, try it. But that happened to me a lot because um, we would sell like um, uh, pork skins, uh, just like uh, boiled uh, before ever becoming pork grains. Uh, and they were very good. And then sometimes they would just be floating there like little pieces. And then I, I don't know where I would just like pick one out and then I would just put it in my mouth. And I burnt myself so many times. Like I used to hate it. Like uh, I used to, like what I used to think it was like, man, I, I, my palate wasn't burning it wasn't in pain before and i used to take it for granted but that didn't prevent me from taking another piece of that carnitas so it's just a little story we have to make sure the cooking is done and not taste it while it's hot because it'll burn our mouth we could completely destroy a project right so let's not do that and uh today i took a total of i'm getting ahead of myself huh uh commercials commercials all right so we are posting vocabulary practice videos on uh, tiktok on Kauai, facebook shorts facebook shorts does that even exist no uh youtube shorts uh instagram reels and we automatically post to facebook so that is five platforms where you can follow us and you can practice your vocabulary daily with us english and spanish a new word every day and soon i'm just setting everything up i just have to do all of the details we will be having definitions in english and spanish so there's no excuse not to practice that vocabulary with us let's raise the bar on interpreting i hope i see you there every day all right, and also we are still accepting comments on MIP21. Remember that when MIP21 reaches 100 likes, it has 62 likes now. When it reaches 100 likes, we're gonna be get, uh, picking two comments at random. We're gonna pick, um, we're gonna send the people who those comments belong to exclusive links to MIP22. 
and uh, we're gonna give them a chance to record their interpretations, send them over to us, and that way we can provide them with some feedback, all right? Feedback is very hard to get in this um, profession, so uh, hopefully we can, um, after we do this, we'll get a little bit of practice and hopefully we can change that. We can um, give a lot of feedback, lots of feedback. You get feedback, you get feedback, everybody gets feedback, all right? Another thing, if you don't know, let me tell you that we have a Patreon page for Will's Little as just one dollar of your support. You help motivate us to create much more content and we give you access to everything on that page. The medical practice videos, free of annoying ads, scripts, answer sheets, vocabulary lists, and much more content. And most importantly, you will forever win a place inside of our heart and you will be immortalized because immortalized 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 i don't know well you will be immortal because you will be supporting a project that is going to be a billion trillion gazillion dollar project pretty soon right no guarantees on that but um yeah, we are growing we are expanding so support a project that supports you right you give money to us to our project you hook us up and we give you what we give you knowledge we give you lovely videos and stuff and the more money we get the more stuff we can do because I mean, money is a limitation it sucks but it is all right so hopefully we can get all of your contributions all right uh that would be nice that would be nice uh and we will be making lots of stuff here. So hopefully in the near future, uh, let's say before Halloween, <laughs> just just a thought. Uh, one more thing uh, before I lose all of your attention, do you have uh, two years of experience in medical interpretation? Um, this is a big, big uh, um, limitation. If you have less than two years of medical interpretation experience, uh, I would say wait until you have it because they're just gonna tell you no. Uh, I mean, you can negotiate with them. I don't know how good that negotiation will go, but definitely, um, but this is a hard limit. Uh, uh, less than two years of experience, you are most likely not going to be accepted. So, um, Refrain from uh, two years of experience, two years of experience, all right? Two years, I'm sorry, two years of medical experience. If you have less, wait until you have the two and you can compare it because they will ask, all right? So do we have two years of experience in medical interpretation? Two years, not less. If you have two years and not less inter in medical interpretation experience, you live in the United States, Mexico, or Costa Rica, and are looking for employment in VRI or OPI, go ahead and send us your information to uh, interpretyourworld at gmail.com. This is a third party company. This is not Interpret Your World. This is uh, the company that I work for, the company that I am hired, that I am an employee in. So go ahead and uh, Send us your info only if you have two or more years of medical experience. That is a must. Um, um, if you have less, you can argue your case, but you have to argue your case, all right? I'm just telling you what they tell me, all right? So let's do it. Uh, you wanna get hired with the best interpretation company in Mexico? Go ahead and send us your info only if you have two years of medical interpretation experience all right now let's get to the good stuff and um well today i took 34 sessions three of which were audio sessions and i don't even remember them like today just went in a flash uh, uh i don't know where i was i don't know where my mind was maybe making millions right i had my all of my energy no, i'm just trying to <sighs> i'm just trying to see how 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 i can make more money I need more money. Uh, I'm all out of aces. Look, no aces here. I don't even know what to do. I'm starting new projects. We'll see how they fare, but uh, all of my mind is going into that. Um, I wish I already had a lot of money. All right, uh, so 
34 video sessions, three are no 31 video sessions, three audio sessions, and uh, there were no highlights. Honestly, if there were some highlights, I must have missed them because uh, I need a lot of money. <laughs> All right, so uh, before I get into this, um, oh, one thing, I always hate fighting Word. Uh, you know, Word, Office, Word, the word processor, I hate it. And I had to fight it today while I was making the script to this video. And I hate it because I always lose it, but I don't know how to do it. So I just left it like that, like uh, it looks all funky, but nobody has to see the script, right? It's only for me, so it works, but honestly, it is definitely um, messing with my OCD. Now, by the way, I don't have OCD or I don't think, it's, maybe it's mild, I don't know. But yeah, I hate fighting word. If you ever had to fight word, you know what I'm talking about. You probably hate it too. All right, so now let's get into the good stuff, into this video. So um, I didn't know how I was gonna get to this video. I thought it was just gonna be like a vocabulary video, but it turns out, uh, uh, it's very hard to find information on vaccines or uh, information that explains what I wanted to explain. So for some of these vaccines, I will explain the disease, then I will give you the name of the vaccine, translation, everything that it cures or that, that it prevents, right? So I opted to do it uh, this way, that way, uh, we get more information into what we need, right? What, what does it treat and uh, I am going to give you vaccine name, manufacturer, route, doses, approved ages, and uh, comments, all right? No! I erased everything. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to be right back. That sucks. All right, so sorry about that. Uh... But I'm back, and there's not a lot of writing, so it wasn't that bad. So, yeah, but sorry about that. But as I was saying, I'm uh, going to be giving you the vaccine name, manufacturer, route, doses, approved ages, and comments. So let's get started. So for number one, and this is a virus, um, adenovirus, and the Spanish translation is adenovirus, just the same. And... Um, uh, well, uh, let me give you the definition of uh, denovirus. So, one group of viruses that can cause infections of the lungs, stomach, intestine, and eyes. Symptoms resemble those of the common cold. There are no effective medications for treating adenovirus infection. Adenovirus infection typically does not cause death or permanent problems. More than 40 types of adenoviruses have been recognized, all of which are extremely tiny. Adenoviruses are being used in research as vehicles for gene therapy and as a vector for vaccines. All right, so the name of the vaccine is adenovirus type 4 and 7, and in Spanish it would be adenovirus tipo 4 y 7. So the manufacturer of this is Bar Labs Inc. The route is two oral tablets, doses in routine series one. That means that you only get this vaccine one time and you are good. Approved ages 17 through 15. Uh, comments says it's a live vaccine and it has been approved for military population. So this is only for the military. No one else gets this um, vaccine, all right? So a live vaccine, remember that they put a live virus in there, but they kind of beat it up. So it's not that um, it cannot defend itself, right? And the immune system can just tear it up and save you a lot of trouble. All right. Um, for number two, it's anthrax. And this is anthrax. And uh, let me tell you what anthrax is. Anthrax is a rare but serious illness caused by a spore-forming bacterium, Bacillus anth anthracis. Anthrax mainly affects livestock and wild game. Humans can become infected through direct or indirect contact with sick animals. There is no evidence that anthrax is transmitted from person to person, but it's possible that anthrax skin lesions may be contagious through direct contact or through contact with 
a contaminated object. Usually, anthrax bacteria enters the body through a wound in the skin. You can also become infected by eating contaminated meat or inhaling the spores. Does anybody remember the 9-11? They were sending like letters with uh, anthrax. That is a modification of this thing. I know because I read it. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, like when I read uh, that this was a vaccine, I was like, whoa, why are they making vaccines for that? Because, of course, I thought of the of the bioengineered anthrax. Right. Uh, hopefully that, that didn't spread that bad. Right. Uh, but yeah, the article mentioned it. Of course, I didn't add it here because we're only talking about the natural one, right? Uh, the natural occurring anthrax, not the uh, bioengineered one or biomodified, or I don't know what they call that. Okay, and uh, if you can see here, uh, let's see. So the name of the vaccine is Biothrax. And um, the... the, the um, Abbreviation for the vaccine is AVA, right? Uh, not to be confused with the coin, right? AVA, any of my crypto guys here, give me a like. And if you don't like crypto, give me a like too. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so AVA stands for Avs, uh, anthrax vaccine. Where I put it? Oh, anthrax. Oh man, I messed up right there. Hopefully you won't take that like away. Uh, anthrax vaccine adsorbed, right? Look at this, adsorbed. Can you see that big O D right there? All right, uh, so, um, and this is my own definition, all right? And it would be vacuna de anthrax de adsorción. Adsorption, right? I couldn't find any information of what they call it. So, and I've never had to interpret it. So, um, actually, vacuna de anthrax adsorbida uh, would be the Spanish translation. And uh, the name of the vaccine is anthrax vaccine adsorbed. All right. And um, why, why did I tell you about the D? Well, because I just realized that adsorbed is different from absorbed it's not even the same word and i thought it was saying absorb and i thought they made a mistake but i looked it up and no it i was the one that was wrong so i'm gonna expand your vocabulary today all right as well as expanding my own vocabulary so the word of the day is going to be adsorb and in spanish is absorb adsorber sorry with a d adsorber so what is this? And this says, of a solid, hold uh, molecules of a gas or liquid or solute, hold as a thin film on the outside surface or in the internal surface within the material. All right. And uh, the other one is absorb. Where is it? Absorb. And this is absor absorber. All right. And uh, what is the definition for that? Take in or soak up energy or liquid or other substance by chemical or physical action. All right. So let me draw a little diagram here because that is what helped me understand. Uh, so let's say that this is the vaccine, right? Uh, this is the agents of the vaccine, and this is the anthrax virus, right? So, um, in a vaccine that is absorbed, everything gets drawn into the virus, right? Inside, inside. But if it's adsorbed, it like just clips onto the outside, like right outside the outside, on either on the inside or on the outside. It can even like be in like this you see it's inside of the virus but it's only like right on the surface right it does not get absorbed inside because it's adsorbed all right it's just like on the outside either on just on on like the thin layer of the outside inside or on the outside outside all right so that is the bigger the biggest difference between well that is the difference between those two words 
Uh, let's continue with what we were talking about, right? So the manufacturer for this is Emergent Biosolutions. The route is IM. That means intramuscular injection of the muscles, right? It, I am. It goes into the muscle, not the skin, muscle, right? And uh, the doses in routine series is three. You got to get three of these vaccines to be completely covered. Approved ages 18, 18 through 65. The comment says is an inactivated vaccine and it's an adjuvant. What does adjuvant mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. So we have adjuvant here and the Spanish translation adjuvante. All right, so adjuvant in pharmacology, an adjuvant is a drug or other substance or a combination of substances that is used to increase the efficacy or potency of certain drugs, right? So what this means to me is that they give you an inactivated virus and then they put this adjuvant, some substance that is going to help your immune system kill it quickly and be able to recover that information that it needs to be able to protect your body in the future, all right? So we learned three new words today uh, that were not expected, all right? And uh, let's get to number three. So number three is cholera and cholera. Um, I don't remember why. Well, I kind of remember why. Um, must have been a dirty kid or something. Um, the memory is hazy. But I remember that uh, when I was a little kid, I was really afraid of cholera. I was really afraid of cholera because I remember that my mom told me something that I would get cholera if... I don't know. I used to really um, like to play in puddles and she was just very against that and she said that I could get cholera from the puddles. So as a little kid, I don't know from what age to what age, there was, I, I think I got over the fear when I was like eight or nine, but I must have been terrorized by cholera since I was like three to like seven or eight years old or maybe less, three to six, I don't know. But uh, uh, I saw a document, like my mom told me that. And then I saw a documentary about cholera and how kids like eating, uh, drinking water from like puddles. They got this and then it was bad. And then I was like, no, I don't want that to happen to me. So I was terrorized by this. And this disease like doesn't even exist anymore because of vaccines. So um, that's just, what happens when you're a little kid, right? You get uh, like really worked up over things that don't even matter. Or sometimes you think things are going to be very important and it turns out they're not. For example, I used to think I had to be trained um, in case I ever met quicksand, right? Uh, that was very important to me as a child. I thought I would come across many pits of uh, quicksand throughout my life. I, I don't even, I've, I've never even seen quicksand quicksand those are tv and internet right all right so i've talked too much let's get to what 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 is cholera so cholera is a bacterial disease usually spread through contaminated water cholera causes severe diarrhea and dehydration left untreated cholera can be fatal within hours no wonder i was scared even in previously healthy people, modern sewage and water treatment have virtually eliminated cholera in industrialized countries, but cholera still exists in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Haiti. The risk of a cholera epidemic is highest when poverty, war, or natural disasters force people to live in crowded conditions without adequate sanitation. Cholera is easily treated death from severe Dehydration can be prevented with a simple and inexpensive rehydration solution. So the name of the vaccine is Vacora. There's no abbreviation for it. The manufacturer is Paxvax Route Oral Liquid. Dose in routine series, just one dose. Uh, approved ages from 18 through 64. Comments live attenuated. So it's a live but a weakened virus. All right. Uh, that way your body can beat it up real quick, take, strip it for the parts it needs to recognize it in the future, and that's it. Isn't that wild? Like, can you imagine that? Like, um, uh, what the immune system does. I mean, it takes apart the, um, the virus or the, 
or the bacteria, right? It takes it apart and then it just collects this little trophy and then says, I'm going to keep this so I remember you. And then it just, because I remember your people, right? And then it just keeps it like, uh, it just hands it to some uh, T cell. I think it's a T cell um, or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, but I think it gives it to a T cell and then uh, the T cell takes it and is like, oh, a nice trophy. I shall keep it here and I shall remind you if we ever see an intruder like this. All right. So they just take it apart and then they take the little piece, they take it to another person. And then imagine, <laughs> it was, imagine if that was people, right? Like, oh, oh, here comes the invaders. Let's take them apart. Let's take a piece of their finger and then give it to this guy. Remember, if anybody comes in with a finger looking like that, you call us and we already know what to use against them. We'll use snakes. Throw snakes at the snake people. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it sounded funnier in my head, right? But yeah, I think that does really seem pretty brutal, right? They just rip everything apart and they take a little piece and it's like, we're gonna remember you by this. All right, so enough talking. Um, let's get to the last vaccine of today. And uh, I was just gauging to see how many vaccines I could get. Uh, so four seems like a good number. Uh, of course, I talked a lot, but uh, I'm going to see, and I, I don't know how long that other video was, so I'm going to see, maybe four, maybe five, um, we'll see. All right, so the next one is DTaP vaccine, and this is La Vacuna DTP. I see DTA, and this is supposed to be a capital P. I don't know why I didn't write it like that. DTaP, like that. DTaP vaccine, all right? So, and I really like this definition because I didn't even have to look for the different diseases. It was all included there. So the DTaP vaccine can prevent diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. Diphtheria and pertussis spread from person to person. Tetanus enters the body through cuts or wounds. Diphtheria can lead to difficulty breathing, heart failure, paralysis, or death. Tetanus causes painful stiffening of the muscles tetanus can lead to serious health problems including including being unable to open the mouth oh that's bad having trouble swallowing and breathing or death i don't know why not being able to open my mouth sounds worse than death <laughs> can you imagine because because you're not well you're, when you're dead you're dead right but if you can't open your mouth like you're gonna you're i'm not gonna taste my grandma's cooking anymore that's horrible I, I would never wish that disease on anyone. All right, uh, pertussis, also known as whooping cough, can cause uncontrollable violent coughing that makes it hard to breathe, eat, or drink. Pertussis can be extremely serious, especially in babies and young children, causing pneumonia, convulsions, brain damage, or death. In teens and adults, it can cause weight loss and uh, bladder control, passing out, loss of bladder control, passing out, and, and rib fractures from severe coughing. I have I had read about that pertussis. Not about that tetanus thing, though. Um, I, by the way, I need to get... No, I'm good until 2004 or 2003 for tetanus. But I no longer work as a maintenance technician, so I don't have to worry about tetanus that much anymore. Right? I'm just here at an office, at my grandpa's room. All right, uh, so the name of the vaccine is Adapticel. The abbreviation is this one right here, DTaP, and that's what they call it. That's what they call it in, in the, in, in, well, that's what the medical providers call it, DTaP. That's, that's how I know it. That's how I learned it. And um, sometimes they will say the diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, but for the most part, DTaP, DTaP. You can't go wrong with that one. So if they say DTaP, this is what they're talking about. And this is a medication that is given to little children, right? Uh, Sanofi. And I, if I'm not mistaken, there's another one, but that's for adults. I think that's a Tdap. So this is a DTaP, all right? Don't confuse them because they are the same but i think the age group is different all right so but we'll get to that in another video i'm sorry all right so uh the manufacturer's sanofi route is intramuscular uh series five series from six weeks to six years 
So from six weeks to six years of age, that's a period of uh, DTaP vaccination. And the comments is that this is an inactivated um, vaccine and it's adjuvant, all right? Uh, they have another vaccine, it's Infanrix uh, DTaP. The manufacturer is GlaxoSmithKline, route intramuscular as well five series for this one and it has been approved the six weeks to six uh, years as well as the other one uh, this is the same inactivated and adjuvant all right and uh, that seems to be the end of today's video um i'm gonna have to look at the time i'll see if i can squeeze another um uh, another vaccine into no not tomorrow on thursday's video tomorrow's mad wet remember all right so hopefully i'll be doing about three or four and um there's a lot of vocabulary and words that sometimes i come across and now i am going to do something if i ever come across a word i don't understand or i don't know what it is i'm going to define it and i'm going to let you guys know uh what it is that way you guys can also learn what I've been learning, right? That way we all win. All right, so that is pretty much it for me today. Please leave your questions on the comments and I will answer some of them on the next session. Remember that if anything is time sensitive, just let me know so I can get to your video before the rest of the queue. Remember that I'll be here every Monday through Friday after work, rain, sleet, hail, snow. You are going to have yourself an unwind session no matter what. All right, uh, this is the part that I love the most. I love thanking all of our Patreons. I love thanking everyone that has bought us a coffee. I love thanking all of our subscribers, every, all of our viewers, and you that is watching the end of this video. So I have, and we have nothing but love to give to all of you guys. We have gotten so far almost 5,000 followers in in YouTube and like 3,000 followers just this year alone. So that's crazy um thank you guys we cannot do it without you i hope you will continue to support us in the future and help us to raise the bar in um to raise the bar damn i lost my train talk to raise a bar of interpreting is that how you say it? to raise a bar in interpreting i don't know i just want to go home i gotta go grocery shopping after this so i just want to leave uh, so we're raising the bar on interpreting. That's how you say it. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe the video if you um, please like and subscribe the video. And please like and subscribe the video. That doesn't even make sense. I should probably stop talking now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe the video. Please like and subscribe the video. I just said it again. That's what is written on there. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and have not done so for more content and don't forget to share all right have yourself a really really lovely day happy interpreting goodbye thanks for listening to this episode of unwind sessions make sure to subscribe on apple podcasts spotify or wherever you listen to your favorite shows and if you learned something new today, it'd be great if you left us a review. You can also visit us on patreon.com slash interpret your world or visit our website, interpretyourworld.com. Unwind Sessions. over there and as always i will be posting all the links to these pages down below in the description box